Hey, boys and girls. This is the mathlearningcenter.org. This is a free website. We've used lots of their manipulatives before. But I want to show you how to connect what you learned about fractions last week and earlier this week to telling time. So right here, I can click on this button to show one whole circle. Now, I'm going to copy that by clicking on it and then click or click OK. Now, I can duplicate it. Now, I may have just messed up because I may have to do this first. Oh, yeah. So, I want to get rid of that. Somehow, it's behind my picture here. Okay. Oh, now i got to get rid of this one. So, thinking about the circle that I want to make, I'm thinking about how many parts I want it to be. So, as I click on this circle, I'm going to go ahead and click two parts. I want to show half. Half and half. Okay, I'm going to click another one that I'm going to put into four parts. Actually, I'll, I'll do, yeah, four today, four right now. Okay, so this is kind of cool because I can click right here and I can rotate, wee, right around, or I can click here, wee, 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 wee. So what, why is that helpful? So you can see that when something is partitioned into two equal parts, it doesn't matter where the line is, right? That's a half, 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 whatever. Okay, just like this one. All of these parts are the same size. So each section, whether I have the lines horizontal and vertical, or whether I have them um Diagonal, diagonal lines here, horizontal and vertical here. That doesn't change this, the fraction. Each one of these is worth one fourth. Okay. Now, I just wanted you to think about how these fractions relate to each other. I'm just going to do that at the top. There's one whole. Let's say it's one whole hour or one whole pizza or one whole cookie. This is one half, and there's one half. This is one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. Let me move this one down a little bit. Okay. Now this is a, also a clever little app because I can take this and drag it over here to compare. And I can see that this is exactly half of the half. All right, let me move this over here. Now let's look at something really fast that you are all very familiar with. A number line. So I'm going to put zero right there. 60 right here. And now I'm going to think. What do I know about zero and 60? What do I know about six? 3 plus 3 is 6, so 30 plus 30 is 60. I'm going to go ahead and think, all right, well, here's one whole line that's worth 60. So in the middle, half of that is 30. So we've got a jump from 0 to the middle is worth 30. And a jump from 30 to 60 is worth 30. 30 more. No wonder it's weird. I have it on the, the straight thing, I think. Sorry. Okay, now let's pretend this is one whole number line right here. Let's go ahead and put a little dot here. Mm. A mark, and let's write zero. I don't know why this is not right. Okay, zero, zero right here, and zero right there. Cool, it's going to, my video is going to stop, 27 seconds. So there's zero, there's 30. Zero to 30, and this side is 30 to 60. All right, we'll be right back. Time 